I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a ghost town in Bodie, California, which is a state park. I'm going to take two fingers over here towards the left, and right about here I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw straight line over, little straight line down, straight line back, straight line up, and connect. Right here on the left hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line down and I'm going to leave it floating. I come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line down and leave it floating. Right about here, I'm going to take a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal down, straight line over, connect. Right about here, on the edge, I'm just going to draw a straight line down and leave it floating. I come about midpoint and I draw a straight diagonal down, little straight line, straight diagonal up, connect. Midpoint, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over off the page. Come back over here to this part. We're going to draw a straight line out connect. Right at that point, straight diagonal up, straight line over, straight diagonal down, connect. Right over here on top, I'm going to draw one, two straight lines, come up to the top, straight line over, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, connect. Right at the top, straight line up. Now what you have to recognize is that because this is a ghost town, everything is kind of in disrepair. So you don't have to have straight lines exact. It looks even better when you don't. So now we're going to do baby square, baby square, baby square, however many you can fit. Come back in and just go cross, straight line cross, straight line cross. Come up to this space and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line over, curve line, curve line over, connect. Come in this space and just draw straight lines. And now come in and fill this in with curve lines, curve lines, curve lines. There's going to be a lot of straight lines that are floating. Right here we're going to fill in this space with straight diagonals going up. And at this point right here, we're just going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, off the page. Now, we're going to come all the way down here to this space, and we're going to draw a circle. And then we're going to draw one, two straight lines. And now we're going to do an overlap. We're going to draw a curve line, jump over, curve line, connect. Inside, we're going to put a baby circle that we can see, and we're going to draw a mimic. We're going to mimic that line again. So it's curve line, and then on this side, curve line, curve line. Now we do one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. We're going to do the same thing here, but you're not going to see the spoke. So it's one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. This continues straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight line up. We can put a little curve line right there on the end. Now that we've got that, we come back over and we're just going to put slightly wavy line, slightly wavy line, slightly wavy line floating. Come in and just draw wavy line, leave it open, wavy line, close it, wavy line, close it. And again, this doesn't matter, wavy line, close. We're just adding some texture to our drawings. 
Now watch how we fill this in. This line over here, now we're just going to draw skinny straight lines all the way down inside this space because the whole entire ghost town is made out of dried out wooden slats. Now on this edge towards the right, we're just going to continue some lines to the edge just to finish off that space. Now we come to this space. Starting on this edge, we're just going to draw straight lines, skinny lines, all the way down and leave them floating. We're not even going to finish them off. Because if you go to the state park in Bodie, California, you would see that they're not re working the ghost town. They're leaving it exactly the way it was when everybody left. So all of these structures are preserved exactly the way they are, having weathered from the 1800s. Okay, now we come over to this space. Right here we're just going to draw some straight curve line, straight curve line, connect, and next to it a smaller one straight line, curved line, straight line, connect. And I'm saying straight line, curved line because they're not exact. We draw a straight line in the center, leave it floating, and now draw straight lines on the right, straight lines on the left. We're going to mimic that line going all the way around on the inside on this one and part of it outside also. And the interesting thing about this is that this is a storefront to the building in the back. So this is part of the roof, this is part of the roof, it doesn't necessarily go together. Now we're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line over, kind of connect. Above, straight line, straight line, little baby straight line inside, straight line up straight diagonal connect, inside straight line, straight line, we're mimicking these lines again, straight line in the center, little straight lines going up. At one point when Bodie, California was a thriving miners town, there were 65 saloons. This might be one of them. Come right about here and let's draw a straight diagonal and a straight diagonal and on this side right over here, put a dot, it can be off a little bit, that's okay, that's the way this whole building should be. Straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight line connect, straight diagonal down, right about here, rectangle, straight line, straight line, inside, inside. Remember, these are all derelict buildings. And right about here, straight line down, connect. All right, jump over, straight line. This space is now all filled in with little straight lines. These are all slats of wood. It's kind of amazing they've withstood the test of time. Little slats, little straight lines all the way to the edge to fill in this space. Keep going, keep going. And really, you could even put another one in between. The real skinny, little skinny slats of wood all the way down. Okay, now we come back to our main building, and now we're going to draw more skinny lines. Now, if this is making you somewhat crazy, just remember you can always stop, take a rest, come back, continue. You're jumping over, you're drawing straight lines all the way down. They don't have to be even. It's a ghost town. This is supposed to be falling apart. Bring it all the way down. Keep going. Skinny, skinny, skinny slats all the way down. Kind of good they don't have to be even and kind of good they don't have to be exact. You're giving the illusion of a ghost town. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's all, but you know how I am. We won't know until we start coloring. So let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take a regular brown and I'm just going to color in the main wooden parts 
dark brown so that I can see what I'm doing. So these are either doorways or windows or down here I'm just going to put a little bit of brown by my wavy lines. We're just filling this in. And you want to kind of give the illusion of it being dead buildings, which makes it a lot easier to color in because you don't have to be exact. So this is obviously a saloon type door. And wherever I have a black line, I'm just going to put a little bit of brown. Doesn't have to be totally filled in. But this is how I can see now what I drew. Sometimes it's difficult to see what you're coloring even on a drawing you just drew unless you put in some lines that you can follow. So these are windows, these are doors, these are tops of the slats that we're putting dark brown just to get ourselves situated so we know what we're looking at. Okay. This is part of a shed, so put this brown so you know that that's something. I'm going to color in my windows brown, which are probably broken, and I'm going to add a little brown line going down over here. Okay? I think that's all. I could be wrong. Oh! My cannon. I'm going to go ahead and put some brown on my spokes my wheels, this is a wheel, these are spokes, those one twos, one two, one two. All right, looks like I forgot a window over here, but we'll live. All right, next, I'm using a multicultural crayon because almost the rest of this whole entire, well, let's, I'll tell you what, let's do, the gray of our cannon over here. This is gray. And let's do the top of this, which looks like an old church. This is gray. Because then basically the rest of it is multicultural crayon. I'm using a peach, but if you've got, you don't have that, you can always use yellow. You can use orange lightly. And basically what I'm doing, if there's a black line, like a slat of the wood, I'm coming in and I'm putting my multicultural crayon. This looks like it's solid, so I'm going to color that in. This is a little bit more. You know, work your way down and around and color this all in. If you Google Ghost Town, Bogey, uh, Bodie, California. You will see this building, and it's very interesting. Almost the whole entire space is this light, dried out brown. So you can also use yellow if you didn't have a multicultural crayon. But it's very monochromatic. That means it's all very much the same color within the same range of colors. And it must, it's right by Nevada, the state of Nevada. So it must be a very dry environment because it's weathered and everything looks like the same. Now, down at the bottom, I just take that crayon, I work my way over, same color. Same color, and it's like it's totally okay to go over the brown because remember, it is a ghost town. Spookamos. Color in your space. Okay, so I get all done with that. <clears throat> you know me, I like a pop of color. So I'm looking at the picture. And it's like you've got all these dead, dilapidated, wooden slat buildings. And then this intensely fierce blue sky. So I'm taking my blue-green, my turquoise, and as a high contrast, I'm putting this in. And as always, you will do a better job than me. This just gives you an idea. 
Okay, I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my ghost town in Bodie, California. They discovered gold in the 1800s and the population went from zero to 10,000 in a couple of years. And like I said before, they had 65 saloons just trying to have a good time. Okay, bye-bye.